Cindy Heron. And I'm Maxine Jones. I'm Terry Ellis. And I'm Don Robinson. Here we go. Quiet in. Play back. Well, um, while we were in Club Nouveau, um, we were always talking about, me and Tommy, was, myself, was talking about starting a girls group because it wasn't any out at the time. Um, it was a few pop acts, but very few. And the last soul singing act was the Pointer Sisters that we could recall and the emotions. My kindergarten teacher discovered that I could sing. <laughs> Uh, she taught the, the class a song, uh, and it went, uh, Fire, Mr. Fireman, fire, fire down the street. Please send all the trucks to put out the fire, or oh, help put it out the fire. <laughs> <laughs> I decided that I wanted to be a singer uh, when I got out of high school, and I joined the college choir. I, after that, I started singing in bands, and then I formed my own band, and, then showed up for the audition for the group. And here I am. One day we were watching television, and I was sitting on the floor, and she and my other sister were sitting on the sofa. And something came on television, and I just, I sang it, and she said, oh, "Terry!" And it scared me. I was a little girl. I was a little. And I turned around. What's wrong with you? She's like, oh, she looked into you, Terry. She can sing. <laughs> and from that day on, she had me singing every day after school, every day. Say it, you went away. on was with my father with to the theme of the Bugs Bunny show. <laughs> Wait a minute. And that was he said Barbara to my mother, she can harmonize, you know, I was six. Keep the time. I was about 12 years old for real and um, my background comes from listening to my parents music and you know my, my dad listened to a certain kind and my mom listened to a certain kind and it just kind of came together. <laughs> always unexpected uh, conditions that you're not prepared for mm -hmm. doing a video so like high heel shoes and right. these wigs yeah. and <laughs> lights and fans Wings. and all that stuff you got and a crew some of people that you don't know you know and it's kind of like this camera's like right there on you and, and it's got people. costumes like this that keep rising up yeah. you know and these wigs you know you got little different things that you have to get used to each time every time I perform I get nervous Yet there's a confidence there, and you know, with them it helps a lot because they're there with me, going through the same thing, you know, nobody's any better than anybody. And we help each other through. They've helped me a lot. I'm always terrified, not just scared. But like she said, there, there's always that certain amount of confidence there, and it, and it feels great being on stage with them. I feel a lot more comfortable and secure. The first time I remember singing in front of an, in front of an audience, um, my hands shook, my legs shook, my teeth were shaking, everything shook, and I couldn't even sing right. And now I still get nervous, but I think if I didn't get nervous, it wouldn't be cool. Yeah. You know, and, and I, as a matter of fact, times when I don't get nervous and it's time to perform, my show never goes really well. But whenever there's that little bit of fear before I go on, I just put it all into the show and yeah. it comes out great. 